So your days from the moment you guys won the NIT to the moment you came to Lubbock, have you had a chance to just take it all in ever since you've been here? Man, good question. No, I have not. Um, there were two moments that I will, will always remember. One was as soon as the game ended uh, in Vegas, our staff sat in a room by the locker room just with the door shut. The competition, it's why you do it. You get on the floor and you get a chance to win and cut down nets, but it's it's the people that make it amazing, right? And we just sat in that locker room looking at each other going like how quickly this goes by. And then um, before the press conference, my mom and dad, my whole family, my kids, my wife, our whole crew was all up in the office before we walked over for the press conference. And I think just those moments that you're with the people that you love are really the most unique parts to this journey. What's important about the communication when you're meeting with the young men in this locker room about you know going through this transition process with a new coach? Yeah, great question. I think it's being a good listener, honestly, first, and trying to understand what's best for them. And in the off season, that's what you gotta do. You can't focus on what best for the team at that point. As a, as a coach, you want to put together a roster, but really you got to try to hear them and hear what's best for them and what they want. And what I've found over the years is if you can figure out what's best for them, it ultimately ends up being what's best for the team. Fans are curious. What are maybe your philosophies as a coach? It, it really is about finding what your team does well. When we got to North Texas, I think ultimately we kept the end in mind and we felt like winning a national championship, how would we be able to do that? And we tried to put together a formula that we felt like would win with the guys that we had in our locker room. So I think the best thing we'll do is we'll be extremely competitive and we'll be efficient, but how we play will really be dictated on the, the roster and what our strengths are. And I mean that. I think it's probably what I do best is try to be coachable and learning and try to really figure out like what's the best avenue for this team to win. And going back to your days at Midland College, winning a national championship there, what made that team so special and how was that important and to know what a championship mindset's like? The people in the administration there really loved it. And that's what I learned quickly uh, is you, you got to be around people who have the support uh, of, the, of the university or college that you're at. And that's what we have here. And then the support of the community. And there's just a lot of people that love this university. And, but then when you get into the trenches, it's like we had built it with guys that were actually local. We just built it with people that we, we knew prioritized winning, a reminder of like how tough and physical you have to be to win, and that's what our teams will always have as a key component. And for you, what are maybe the next 30 to 60 days look like as far as putting this team together? It's going to start with understanding the needs of our roster currently and who's, who's here. Like, you know, these guys. I love these guys. And I love being around them. I love talking to them. I really do. We sat in the locker room just talking for about 45 minutes yesterday, talking about the time that I was the head coach at Midland College and superstitions. And, you know, this is what's fun. People want to talk about how are you going to play and, you, you know, uh, one of our guys was knocking on a wood door when we were talking about injuries. And I was like, you know what? When I was at Midland College, I wore green boxers for every game. And we got to the national championship. I did it for three years, 2005, 2006, and 2007 season. We got to the national championship game, and I was in a rush. We had to do a TV interview. I left early. I came back, and I got back after we won the national championship. was changed, and I looked down, and I wore brown boxers for the national championship of all games to not wear them. And I told them like, quit knocking on that door because there ain't no such thing as superstition. So people can talk about a lot of different things, but I loved those moments more than I love anything. And the next 30, 60 days will be about how do we connect with those people that we're with every day. Do you have those boxers framed up anywhere in your house? No, man, you don't want to see those. <laughs> Last one for me, what will you demand from your players above all else when you're heading into the, your first season with Texas Tech? Yeah, that they love each other. I mean, that's it. I mean, you, you will, if you love each other well, then you'll go out there and compete and give your heart to, to winning. And um, I think that translates to life. But ultimately, when you get in that locker room, there's a love for each other that I think supersedes all the things that other people have as an expectation. And that starts with me. And I'll, I'll be a guy that loves them with all my heart.